When life goes, it knock you on thump now. It knock, it's not a pull back now, thump now. It's a full force hit you going to get inside your stomach now. Life, the storms hit you hard. Maybe y'all haven't felt any real hard storm yet, but just keep living. Life is famous for some terrible storms. And the only thing that's going to keep you when the storms come is not the pretty paint, not the nice curtain. Hello? You know, it's a nice, pretty house now. That's why I don't move no more about too much of prettiness. Because I see all kind of pretty things just mash down when the storm pass. But it's amazing to me too when the storm pass. It, it, sometimes it amazes you the little structure them that stand up. You know, if you are so young, but I, mean, I, I know you walk through after a storm, you see some big wild house crack buck down. And then you see some little chuk, cushion pen. I turn up, chang, 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 chang. Hello? You look at some of the foundation that their man dig and tie. All the short cut living. Every man have a poor concrete down in blocks now. There's a tie up hard there, cut back for steel, cut back for everything. But this is all right to cut back now when it's sunny and cook and cool. But when the storm hits brothers and sisters, then you're going to see the integrity. Pastor, why are you pushing people to get deep? So why are you pushing me to get deep? Because I know storms come in. I've seen many believers, Christian people, jump, shout, hallelujah, beautiful cards, beautiful um, this and all the different icks and acts of God. And when you look, where are they today? In 2022, some of them in carnival. And I'll tell you, Joseph, another young man, you know, me, me a good for a long time. They, they start up in here, up here, at, you know, and... Praising for the Lord, big time. Jerry, no million of them. And you blink two times when storm hit. Things get liquor tight with them financially. And they go and play in a carnival. Behind they. Wink up, shake up, dance up. You know? The, the whole foundation just crumble. You see them. You see them once up here worshiping God and everybody love up here. Praising the Lord, hallelujah. And you blink two times and you see them backstage, back up. Half naked, all them body outside. The storm hit them and they just crumble. Because sometimes we see this. As, I, I'm of the opinion and I always challenge you, sit down with Jerry and him and then guys already, that when you as a musician come up here, as a minstrel come up here, is ministry you in now? You may, you may even be in more ministry the same ministry like me. Because when you come up here and lead people in the presence of God, burdens lift off of people. People put on the spirit, uh, the garment of praise, you know, and that spirit of heaviness. Demon, uh, David just play his instrument, Jamie. And wherever he played, demons start to leave people. Music is so ministerial that it touch people on the inside. Perhaps that my words can't do it. So you think when you come up here and you play and you master your craft like David with his slingshot and you come up here, and somebody down there in bandage and you worship and somebody gets free. Satan go say, red dot upon your forehead. If we could see how many of us function in ministry I red dot on our forehead. I believe that people who are in ministry supposed to be the deepest. Have us spend extra time digging in God because the devil wants you bad. But you see, the danger is, the danger is, my brother, that sometimes we so, we so care about aesthetics, cosmetics, and optics. We only care about how it look. My wife wasn't feeling well tonight, you know, she, you know, she didn't notice how to worship, so she wasn't even sure she was going to come. I said, you know what, if you don't come, it's all right, we just go into the world, whatever, whatever it is. Because we can have the best music now. And everybody come here the same and walk the same now. And we saw, oh, beautiful. But nothing changed. And I think I said, oh, I need God to move and change some of the hearts of his people. 